I look around my circle of dinosaurs here. Each one as small as the other. <laughs> we really don't have any big dinosaurs yet, do we? I think today's the day. Today's the day we go out and get ourselves a big fella, a big monstrous fella with a lot of teeth and a lot of roar. Something that goes raw. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't meant to be the one. You know what? It's too hard to tell you. I better just show you something more. <laughs> Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Anunnaki Genesis. This is our mega modded series on the island. And today, I didn't even have to go looking for our dinosaur because today he's waiting. Wait, no, I haven't even put him in our refrigerator. He's in my inventory. I'm holding on to him. This guy right here. This little fertilized Indominus Rex egg. And today we're going to hatch it up. Yes, we are. We're going to get ourselves a big old Indominus Rex. I hope it's big old Indominus Rex, but we're not quite ready yet. No, we've got a few steps to follow before then. But if you guys do enjoy this video, please go ahead, push that thumbs up, make it rain. Those thumbs ups. And hey, if you like Indominus Rexes, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> no, subscribe to the channel. We are on a mission to reach 800K by the end of this year. Anyways, enough of about subscribing i know what you're here for you're here for the indominus rex so let's do this thing baby we have ourselves a few things to do first how do i not have the spark powder i have 50 of it right here in me little fella i was just i was going rip them straight out we'll chuck them in here but yes we need to get ourselves a fabricator we got to get fabricating our fabrication station needs to be built uh with it we also need a generator we also need a bunch of other stuff but most importantly we need an air conditioner so we can hatch up this little low egg technically you don't need one but it helps it helps i'm just trying to find a place to actually place this stuff down i guess i guess right here will do um i was trying to go for somewhere like just nice and subtle um since we haven't really moved bases yet i guess this is as good a place as any i just placed oh man i placed foundation under the ground oh i'm not gonna get my three by three now that's so disappointing oh it's so annoying all right fine 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 i'll go and craft up another one um i'm super excited about this though I've been talking for a while that, uh, I'm saying for a while, that uh, we really, really, really need to start getting into, like, metal stuff. Um, and I guess today's the day we make that happen. We've been collecting resources for, what, like, 13 episodes now? Uh, so now is the day it all starts to pay off. I say that, but we, we've, we've been paying off for quite some time, I suppose. I mean, we got a little pair of allosauruses. We got a couple tratodons. We've even started teaming alphans. We've even got the apatosaurus down there by the beach. Look at him, all alone. Literally, he's just, just chilling there on his own. My dude, Littlefoot out there. Um, but today, we, I guess, take it a step further. Yeah, I guess that's the right way to put it. Anyways, we got to get ourselves some fuel. So let me go ahead. And uh, I don't really need much of it. Uh, but we're going to set that stuff there to craft up. I've got my fabricator already. In fact, yeah, I guess all I really need is the fuel. I'm hoping that as far as metal goes and silica pearls goes and resources goes and, and all of that sort of stuff, I'm hoping we've got everything that we need. Because if we don't... Okay, no, no I, I just... I'm not... I'm hoping we don't have any little hiccups like that is, I guess, what I'm trying to say here. So, generator. Check. I think we're going to need some electronics. So I'll just go and craft up like 20 of those. That'll keep us going for a little while. Uh, we're also going to, of course, need... You know, I'll can those for a second. I'm going to need... <gasps> oh, I just realized what I did. This is an ordinary fabricator. I need... Oh, you dummy. I need, uh, I need an S plus one. Not that I need an S plus one. I want S plus items. So I think I need a table. I need a table of some sort. I can't remember what it's called though. Uh, craft this guy. That's what I need. This one. This one. This one. There we go. No. <laughs> yeah, it's just easier to work that way, basically. So I'm just going to place this right here real quick. I'm going to grab my resources from here. I'm going to grab my little gun because I'm pretty sure I can't pick this up. Yeah. We oh, yeah. No, we can. What? Cool. All right. That makes things a little bit easier then. Chuck it in there. Chuck the generator in there as well. Um, and let's convert said items to their S plus variants. Much better. Now we can uh, pick them up. They got a few little special functions and that sort of stuff. It's just going to make life easier all around. Okay. Let's go and place that like that. Let's go and get our fuel back in here. Let's turn this on. Let's get ourselves a straight. I only needed one of those, but whatever. Let's get ourselves one of these fellas as well. Bam! And then let's get us all of the electronics that I, uh, well, what I was meant to be crafting this whole time. So. Uh, where's my little 
Yep, there it is. It's hard to see sometimes. It kind of gets lost in the clouds. You don't know where you're placing it. Like, right now. Am I placing this thing? Or Yeah, yeah, yeah there it is. There it is. I placed it. So I think I placed it in the foundation. But I think it achieves the same thing. I hope it achieves the same thing. <laughs> We're about to find out. So, let me go grab these. Chuck them in there. Turn it on. And we have... Power? Unpowered. You're unpowered. Then where did I place the thing? Oh, all right, fine. Nope, no, no, I refuse to believe that. What happened to my little, 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 little thing? Pick this up, pick this up, pick the, pick, where's the pick up, where's the pick up, pick it up. That's not it. It must be, is it in here? Okay, that's the cable. There's my stone found. Oh, there it breaks. Oh, that is just annoying. This game is torching me right now. <laughs> that is so dumb. All right, fine, fine, fine. Give me my little electrical outlet. I need another one, apparent. Oh, wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, electronics. There we go. Okay. There we go. Give it to me. Oh, that's so annoying. I technically, I, you know, I, it would have just been easier. It would. I would have saved myself so much work if I had just gone ahead and just done it. Just, just crafted up another one. And, uh, you know, one step at a time. Anyways, that's there. The box is on top of the, the cable. Exactly where it was meant to be the first time. It's powered. This fella here, it's powered as well. We can chuck our resources back in there now. And that is that. I'm also going to go and chuck one of these over here just for the fun of it. And I think that's it. I think all we're missing now is the air conditioner. Which needs electronics, metal, crystal, polymer. Looks like we've got it all. <laughs> I didn't even know we did. That's so good. Now, I'm hoping that we can just get this done with the one air conditioner, but I have no idea. Um, I guess the only other thing that we could really, really use right now, and this is for the imprinting of our dude, is a nanny. If I can get S plus nanny, that would be the best thing in the world. But I need human hair. Ooh, that's, that's disappointing. That is disappointing. I wonder if... Oh, this is going to be a weird one. Yo, oh, I can already see that this one here is... I'm going to destroy this campfire, by the way. Um, this is going to be a weird one. I can see where this one's going already. I wonder if any of you guys can as well. What I'm thinking we do is we get us a pair of scissors, okay? Actually, it might be okay. I was going to say, we're going to go and try and find some NPCs. We're going to cut their hair. Because <laughs> they'll just stand there and let me give them a haircut, right? Yeah, probably not. Anyways, shave it all off. That's 20 hair. Uh, facial hair. Cut it off as well. That's 30. That actually might be enough for a nanny. Wait, wait, wait. That actually might be pretty good. Um, is it? Oh, it's good. Okay, cool. We are good after all. Where'd the other 20 human hair come from? Where did I get human hair from? Now I'm just... Okay, that's really weird. I don't know where it was, but we, we had some apparently. So we now have our nanny. It's going to stand by my air conditioner because it's nice and hot out here. Um, but I just realized you also need fuel, don't you? Imprints nearby non-adult dinosaurs only requires power. Uh, gives food to nearby babies. Yes. How do you power her again? <laughs> I can't actually remember. Normally it's... Um, normally it's... Gives food, imprints, and place preserving salt in inventory. Just requires power. Wait, preserving salt. What would that do? I've got... I've, 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 I think I have preserving salt. I definitely have had preserving salt. I think I dropped it. It was definitely in one of my guys' inventories, but I don't know who it was. Dang. Uh, salt, 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 salt. Where would I find salt? Definitely none of my guys, right? None of none of these guys have got salt on there. Oh, unless you, Halloween, please have salt. No, nope, I must have dropped it. Okay, fine. Normally it's bee honey that they need. Um, but you're powered. Are you powered by regular generators? Normally, it's only tech generators. Okay, we might be okay. I think we're good. Let's do this thing. We got ourselves an egg to hatch. Hopefully, the one air conditioner is enough. It appears that it is. We just need to play the waiting game. Six and a half minutes. Six and a half big ones. Cool. Good to know. All right. Well, I'm going to leave that as is. Uh, and while we're waiting for that to happen, why don't we just go pay a little visit down here by the beach and see if our mantis has still got it. Last episode, we were uh, basically leveling this beast up, trying to get him as strong as we possibly can, hoping that he would be able to save us from the Indominus Rex living on the beach and, uh, you know, open up the waters again. We can now head down again safely. Um, and he did it. He took it down. But was it a one time, like, was it, you know, one hit wonder? Or do you reckon he can repeat history? Do you reckon he can keep taking down these big old fellas? 
if I, from memory, there is another Indominus Rex in the area. So I wanted to see if maybe we can take it down as well. And you know, if all goes according to plan, might be able to get ourselves a second one. The only thing is, I don't have any idea where he is. He was over here. And from like, from what I've seen, nobody killed it. Um, so he should still be around. Sorry, Tyranodon. Uh, but I don't see him. Unless is that him just up here? There's too many wild dinosaurs for him to be out here, I think. Like, there's a lot of life. Also, is that what I think it is? Is that a poison? <gasps> poison Tyranodon. I was talking about one of these guys yesterday. Not yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it was yesterday. We we're trying to tame one of these guys up and we butchered it. We ruined it. It all went wrong. Also, snow Tyranodons. <laughs> Man, they're everywhere. So many varieties of Tyranodons. Also, I don't even have to get off the back of my Mantis. If I can nail a bowler. Uh, got him. I was so delayed. Then that's me. Oh, great. All right, fine. That Uteraptor's fine. It's not my problem. It's not my problem. Uh, but that Raptor is going to be my problem. It's my problem. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, it is so bad. Uh, guys, you want to give me a hand? Anyone? Oh, oh great. 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 <laughs> I got a little bit ahead of myself, I think. That's so annoying. You know the worst thing? I got pounced by a raptor, and then I'm pretty sure the shock to rat it on that was flying over the top, like trying to help me out, ended up also like adding to the damage, and then we like copped the double whammy. Didn't go well for us, that's that's for certain. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab three little clubs. And I'm just gonna take this Tyranodon down the old-fashioned way. I'm hoping my um I'm hoping my mantis won't kill it in in a single hit like it might. Uh but we're gonna have to wait and see what happens, I guess. We'll try it out. Raptor, this raptor is still out here. I don't know where my mantis went to either though. Please don't, please don't. Okay, there's a couple raptors out here. No wonder. We never stood a chance! Not a single chance. Okay. Where is my gravestone? There you are. My metal armor is once again broken, except for my shirt, because I took it off so that I looked cool. I could show you guys my chiseled abs. <laughs> all right, all right, seriously though, where's my, where's my mantis got? There you are. What are you doing? Like actuals, what are you doing down here, buddy? Um, I don't really, where are you going? You trying to follow me? All right, I'm gonna leave you right here. This seems like a safe-ish spot. Uh, man's just having a bit of trouble. Yeah, no, he's all right. He's all right. He's all right. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> this is the biggest cluster truck of chaos. Uh, and very unanticipated, mind you. I expected this to be a pretty, like, seamless exercise. Wanted to fight an Indominus Rex and take his butt down. Never goes according to plan, does it? Oh, well. It is what it is. I guess we got one more on the death counter. So there's the level 360, but there's also a level 440. Maybe we'll turn our attention to him instead. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. How much health has he got? He has 8,000 health. I'm going to kill it. Right? I'll test out. I'll test out on the snow pteranodon. Yep. He definitely died. Oh, say, Skeletal Raptor. What are you doing there, buddy? What are you doing there? He dropped me a crossbow, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, not bad. Nice loot. Unfortunately, though, my man's just been too strong. And he's just going to club the living daylights out of this Tyranodon if I use him. So we're going to have to stick to old-fashioned uh, techniques. Which is, of course, bowler and arrows. Yup. <gasps> Wait a second. I have a special idea. We can get improved. Oh, my gosh. We're getting distracted from the whole point of this. We're getting an Indominus Rex. That's, that's what we're meant to be doing. I just love watching my dude roam around with his clubs in his hands. He looks so excited to go clubbing. <laughs> we should go find some penguins. I love clubbing penguins. Only in the arc, okay? Only in arc. Anyways, egg has not hatched yet. Stop, 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 stop. Where are you going? Where are you going? Sit still. Chill out. Egg, how you doing there? How much time we got? A minute and a half. Oh, I can go tame a pteranodon in that. No, we can't uh, because I'm stuck. Floating next to my new egg. <laughs> Seriously, what causes this? Is there a setting in the game that I got to disable that stops this from happening? It's so annoying. I don't know why it happens, but it is what it is, I suppose. All right, let's do this thing. It's time to hatch. To, to, no, no, I don't want to pick you up. You stay right there. What are you doing? It's time to get ourselves an egg. But let me quickly go grab 
myself some prime meat, some regular meat. I don't know the difference. Chuck it both into our nanny. I'm pretty sure that's how they feed babies or something. I don't actually know. I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit... Uh, I got a bad feeling. <laughs> I don't know how long it's actually going to take for this guy to like mature into an adult, but I'm hoping it happens by the end of today. But uh, yeah, we don't really know. It's kind of it's kind of just like a random thing. You know, you never really know what you're going to get, I suppose. Um, but damn, we got some... We're getting all this like loot, all these different crossbows and stuff. I already got a really good one. I don't know if I need the other ones just yet. Well, not that I need them. They're all quite weak. Anyways, 20 seconds left. Not going to waste a second of this time though. I want to quickly go ahead, get us some improved trank arrow. Only two? I went... Wait, oh, it's the narcotics that I'm missing. I was going to say, I've got some Titan Bow Venom. Anyways, it doesn't matter. In five, four, three, two, one. We're going to have an Indominus Rex. Nice. For a second there, I thought we had twins, but it's just the one. It's just the one. All right, cool. It's a female too. Hopefully, lays me some eggs. Um, behavior, let's disable. Wondering, we're good. Also, damn, you're growing up quick. You're growing up so fast. <laughs> Feels like just yesterday that you were born. Look at the, look at the speed. Look at the speed you're growing up. And imprinting should be, yep, exactly the same. Nice. Uh, I guess we gotta work, find out how to get a saddle for this guy. I don't actually know what type of saddle it's gonna take. Uh, Indominus Rex. Got an ordinary saddle, and then you got a stealth saddle. And then you got an Alpha Indominus Rex saddle. What? <laughs> All right, well, I guess that's a thing. All right. Oh gosh, I like choked on my own surprise just then. So, uh, I don't know which one we're gonna get. Oh, okay. That's just an ordinary one. How do you get the cloak one then? How do you get the stealth one? Oh, oh, wait, what? Indominus Rex? Oh, you can craft them in your own inventory. All right, we'll get one of each. Because why not? One of everything. That's how we do. Oh my gosh. I just turned around, turned back, and you're like three times the size you were when I like turned around in the first place. This is one good looking Indo Rex, though, don't you think? He's got that like white and black body. <laughs> and you got those big old red beady glowing eyes. Oh, you're going to be a beast. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so good. 50% uh, of the way. Have a look at that. And 50% imprinted too. That health though, that's going to take a little bit of time to, uh, you know, sort itself out. But we'll be right. Should probably go and repair my armor so we can, you know, get hit by another raptor. And, uh, you know, have it, have it break instantly. Just like, just like everything else does. In fact, it looks like I'm running out of metal, so we can't actually do that. Fine. There's no point wearing just a single chest piece. We're just ditching all. My guy here, though, is now an adolescent. He's an adult already. It feels like just three minutes ago that you hatched up. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get those two saddles in there. That way I don't forget about them. Uh, the scissors. Bah, I only need one nanny. It's gone. Uh, sweet. All we got to do now is wait. Yeah, and we got like no time left to wait at all. I can literally just sit right here on my alpha dodo and we can just watch. We can just watch as you grow up into a very large, scary, terrifying, meaty, spiky, scary. Did I say scary? Scary. Indominus Rex Predator. Oh, it's going to be fun. Oh, yeah, there it is. The little roar. I'm pretty sure that signifies that we're done here. We have ourselves a fully grown Indominus Rex. He's all healed up. He's a little hungry. That's fine. Uh, let's do this thing, I guess. We're going to give him his ordinary saddle. The fact there's a stealth saddle, does that mean that he's actually like able to stealth? Oh, here we go. Left click is a bite. Right click. Oh, we're going to drop the big old roar attack. C, X, control. Wait, where's the stealth attack? You're telling me there isn't one? But, but... But I gave you. But I gave you the stealth armor. Stealth armor. Oh, wait, what? Why does it look different? Different color. Does this give you the ability to stealth? Buttons aren't doing anything. Okay, maybe not. But it is a different color. Is that why? Is that is that literally the only intention? Is that all that is that like? <laughs> is, that, is that all it's meant to do? Just change the color? I mean, hey, at the end of the day. It's, no, it's the same amount of armor as well. It just, it's just a different color. I don't know if it's untextured. It's untextured, right? 
That's what that is. It's not like gray so that it looks cool. It's yeah, whatever. <laughs> we'll just keep the ordinary one on. Now let's go and test this guy out and see what he's made of. He's a speedy beast. Oh my gosh. He fast. Oh, he fast. We should call him Sonic. Gotta go fast. But uh, no, 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 no. He looks nothing like, I mean, actually, he kinda, he's got some hedgehog vibes to him. He's a little spiky and all the rest of it. Uh, someone reminded me as well. We got to pick up all uh, Shockwave, our Shock Pteranodon over there. Uh, anyways, we've already cleaned up these beaches. I need to, I need to find someone to test this out on. Yes. <gasps> 10,000 damage. That is exactly what I want to be seeing. That's exactly what I want to be seeing. All right. All right. All right. Uh, don't want to be getting stuck on rocks though. That's a little bit annoying. Fine. Let's stick to the river then, I suppose. It's kind of silly to be roaming through jungles anyways. So I'm hoping this guy becomes the beast that I hope he becomes. Like... 10,000 base damage is a great start. Like a fantastic start, as a matter of fact. I don't think any of our dinosaurs have gotten close to that sort of damage. But just with a few levels, this guy's going to be really, really close, I think, to being able to, like, contest some of these spinos. Is that a lightning wyvern? Or is that a fire wyvern? It's another fire fella, isn't it? Another fire wyvern. And my dude, he's already got 30 levels. All right. I want to take this fire wyvern on. I want to, I got to take the fire wyvern on. It's not even that I want to do it. It's that I got to do it. Come for me, fire wyvern. Come get me, fire wyvern. I got a present for you. Oh, no, he's too busy fighting dimorphodons. Bro, come fight someone your own size. Your own ferocity. Oh, great. Now I got dimorphodons fighting me as well. All right, fine. We're both just here to pick on the little guys. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, yes, yes, I can actually reach him this time. Also, he was really weak. Like, really, really weak. I couldn't even, he's actually untamable. Why was he untamable? That's kind of weird. Alrighty. Well, I think we're at a point. Ooh, something's on fire over here. Let me go and check it out. And some, whoa, okay, no, 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 no. Big old 550,000 health spider. That's what I want to take down. I want my Indorex to be strong enough to just grind him to a pulp. That's where I want to be. Also, my dude here, he harvests like a beast. Look at all of this wood that we just harvested, munching on some trees. That's insanity. And a bit of meat and a bit of thatch, but mostly a lot of wood. Uh, he also has... Oh my gosh, I heard big stomps. I wasn't sure what it was. Just a car note. It's all good. My dude, he got a million health. He got... All right, it doesn't gain much health from levels either. So we're probably going to leave it at around about that 1.2 million mark. Um, yo, he doesn't even need speed. I don't know why I'm putting levels in speed. Melee damage. Every single one of these is going into melee damage. And no wonder I forgot we've got the imprint. We imprinted him 100. Oh my gosh, this fog. Like, what even is this? How is a man meant to work with this level of fog? How is a man meant to work with this level of ex like experience already? I'm level 166. All right, fine. Take it up to level 800. Uh, I keep saying we're going to put some levels into weight. So let's crank that a little bit. Melee damage, why not? Movement speed, why not? All right. I don't even know what's going on with these levels anymore, but we have overleveled to oblivion and beyond. All right. Let's find out what my dude's capable of. We've chucked like 30 levels into melee damage. I don't even know what I'm about to attack, but something is glowing. The Diplodocus, a Usuraptor. And now it's personal. He whips me with his tail. Don't worry, I can't see it either. I'm with you guys on this one. Let's go! <laughs> What's that? 15,000 and 25,000. Not bad. Also, I damage as I run. Uh, cool. That's nice and all. It's not enough. It's not enough. We've only just matched the Mantis so far. I need more damage. I need a lot more damage. This isn't gonna cut it. I think they're what we most importantly need. I need this fog to end. So I'm going to run just over here. I can only just make out our surroundings. I know roughly where I am. There's a there's a Diplodocus in my way. I'm going to turn right. I, don't know. I have no idea what you guys can see right now. I know YouTube's probably butchering this up a ton. Uh, but I got a second base just up here at the top of this cliff that I can't navigate. It's literally just over here. There it is. I can see it. It's shadow appears. There it is. All right. So we're safe. Sort of. Uh, so I'm just going to chill out here for a little bit. Wait for this fog and this weather to pass. And we're going to see if we can take on a Spino. 
going to be fun. Now that's what I'm talking about. Hasn't like entirely passed just yet, but it's looking pretty good. Also, I see an egg. It's a spino egg. Ooh. If I take the spino egg, are we going to anger Mr. Five Step? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we are. That's exactly why I'm going to grab it. I don't even care. Spino, you think I'm afraid of you? Bro, I'm roaming around on an Indominus Rex. What are you? What are you going to do about it, buddy? Let's go. You think you're tough, do you? You think <laughs> he deals like three times as much as I do, but it doesn't matter because I have got... No, he's actually going to kill me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. No, no, no. Run. Run. He's faster in water. Why are we going in water? <laughs> he's a water dinosaur. All right. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was so dumb. Do not fight spiders in water. What is wrong with you? Do not steal the spider's egg. Okay, I got a little bit excited and ahead of myself. I'll admit it. That was a very, very dumb decision. Not going to fall for... This is not the time to be doing poops, buddy. This is not the time to be pooping. What's wrong with you? You're going to run from a spider for your life? And, and, and stop to take a poop? Well, it seems that whatever we killed along the way there was a good idea because he decided to stop and uh, give it a little bit of a nibble of his, of his own. All right. 11 extra levels. I don't even know where they came from. But uh, hey, we're not done yet with Spino. We're not done yet. His hydration le like boost is about to run out as well. So if I can just survive this next few seconds, he's going to be weaker, I think. I swear he's not getting weaker. I swear he's getting stronger. But no, he stopped. He's not even attacking me anymore. We got this. Keep it going, 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 keep it going. Don't touch that water. I will bite your face off. Don't do it. It's too late. He's already in it. But it's too late for him because he is dead. <laughs> you laid an egg. Wait, they also lay eggs? Also, I'm really heavy. All this wood. I was wondering why my guy was slowing down. Uh, dude, we did it. We finally took down a spino. After all those times that they messed with me and got in my way. That's what they get. And a spino sale for good measure too. Dude. <laughs> Not only is it a spino egg, but if what comes out of it is anything like his parents, I'm assuming his mama, then um, it may also be a Halloween inspired colored one as well. Dude. Oh, we got two spino eggs. I just realized, except, you know, obviously. Yeah. One we're going to eat or turn into a health potion. The other we're going to hatch. Level 570. This might actually be stronger than our Indominus Rex. We might be done with you already, Mr. Little Indominus Rex. That might be... Oh, you know what? How are we going to stop here? I'm going to run back over here real quick. Because I saw a little... Um, what do you call it? Survivor note. I saw a little ruin. Where was it? Or was I imagining it? I swear I saw a little... I did see a little ruin, right? Or was it the other side? Oh, I think it's just over here. Hold on a second. So I'm going to go to this ruin, hopefully activate the little survivor note. It's going to give me an experience boost. And then we're going to go and take down another spider because why not? I know this sounds like I'm getting excited over nothing, but this is like, this is, I guess this is how you got to do it. This is how you need to progress and get stronger creatures. There it is. Yeah, I guess you can't, you can't, um, you can't tame these like big predators on their own. You, you actually got to take them down and then hatch your own. Which, hey, I'm fine by. Because so far, it's working out pretty darn good. Look at him. He's also like Halloween colored. He got that little bit of purple on him. Anyways, let's do this thing. 36,000 damage. We still got to be careful because he is hydrated. We are gnashed. Um, and he deals a lot of damage. Yes, he does. Same about, like, roughly the same amount of damage as us. And he's wild. But it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. And he laid another egg. <gasps> nice. I guess I don't know why I'm saying he. Obviously, it's a she. Uh, did I grab the egg? Wait a second. Did somebody beat me? No, we didn't get it. Good, 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 good. For a second there, I thought we'd been beaten to it. It looked like one of the little dinosaurs like ran over and grabbed it. I didn't even remember pressing the pickup button, which is why I was a little nervous there. Oh my gosh. Oh, actually, let's check. I want to I wanna, like send this guy in against some of the stronger um, prime alphas now, but there's none of them like around our base anymore. I never thought I'd be disappointed about that. It's been like a great thing up until now. 15 more levels though. Oh, that's right. He's got the experience boost. My memory's shocking, isn't it? <laughs> we've got, we've established this, Miola. We already knew that. Anyways, um, let's let that there cool off. And my guy here is officially a beast. We've been dealing 42,000 damage. I have no doubt in the world though, 
that um I, I i get the feeling i get the feeling the spino might actually outdo the indominus rex though which blows my mind yes it does well shall we really got to expand this base like what is this base it's so just nothing isn't it really gotta like need some upgrades and more than just a three by three stone platform upgrade something a little bit special -er. but uh yeah what an absolute like what in the world one's a level 570 the other's level 300 bit of a difference between the two of them but uh yeah they're gonna they're gonna be amazing uh well i guess maybe tomorrow we can hatch ourselves a pair of spinos a little mate boosted pair if we get a male and a female out of it and then we can like breed our own and get a, a, a spino army we're gonna take over the world but guys we're gonna call it a day right here right now if you did enjoy this video please go ahead punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs ups if you haven't yet done so subscribe to the channel what are you waiting for time is running out but most importantly keep on smiling have a fantastic day and i'll catch you next time bye for now